Hi everybody, it's Rudy here and today we are going to analyze an Affliction LSD versus L Hunter Disc team. Um, it's a complicated matchup because I think it's one of the teams that can kill your pet the fastest and they can have a lot of tools to, to do an infinite CC on your summon like a scatter, trap, covering with the roots, uh, fear him. So uh, you re rely on RNG Dispel. They have a lot of CC on him. They can force this situation of three versus two and they can tunnel the pets. So I think it's their main win condition is to tunnel the pets uh, with this strategy. But they can also do like the scatter uh, and clean and clean one target on the scatter and then go do like an all in when they have the, the instant of the summon and everything. So they have that these two win conditions. And as I said, Afflicting LSD, what you want is to okay, survive the open, get some pressure going, and you really want to play versus a priest, the mana game. If he's going offensive, a lot of purge, okay, it's gonna be hard, spam fear, get some pressure, and eventually with the CC you have, with the rotation of the the, the, the trinkets, the hex, the clones, the fears, you will be able to to get the situations with some pressure the, and play the mana game, really. Also, you have a lot of CC, as commented, so you have the, the space to resume on pets, because, as we commented, okay, one of their main win condition is kill pets. Okay, get, a, get some distance with the port, and when you are able to get some some CC on them, some slow, some roots, you can port back and, and resume on. Okay, it's really important to don't waste your feldom if you can resume on back, because they can get, kill the pets really, really, really easy. Okay, so... Uh, your win conditions. First, the mana game, and second, uh, you have a lot of CC, uh, a lot of CC. Uh, if you rotate their trinkets for because they are doing pressure, they, they use offensive trinkets. You can really force a, a three versus one situations, and you can push down uh, one of the targets. I think uh, having pressure on the priest is really important here, and it's also a, a really good target. Everyone is a good target, but uh, the one that ki can get killed uh, easiest, I think it's the priest, because you really want to f UA fear the summon, it's really important, and the hunter has a lot of tools to escape. So uh, I would say that, uh, if you're boosting down someone, it's, it's, it's the priest, okay? Uh, uh, well, you can get a situation when the priest is really far away from the summon and you can fear him, then the summon is really, really, really good, but the main target, the, the one that has uh, the the less options to survive and tools, defensive tools, is the priest. Okay, so Joy Fear on the summon is really good without Tremor. And Hex on Clone on the Hunter is super useful in that situation. Okay, let's go into the game. Let's analyze it. Okay, this is good because uh, the summon is getting the procs, black magic for example, and they are not pushing in, so they are just wasting the procs, so we just stay behind, no problem. Now they are pushing in, scatter on the summon, uh, full trap, they, they are covering, so no, no point on trying to dispel that. Uh, I just port away, uh, no pressure on me, but this is a, maybe uh, a mistake because, okay, uh, I port away, the summon is in the middle, they just full clean the summon and they are gonna do an all-in on him. So uh, the summon needs to to see the situation, start spamming hot on him, even they are spamming full reports to the priest. And, and I really need to go in and spam fear, try to peel, also him to, to do a good growing and so on and try to come back to the pillar. Also in these situations, um, it's really important to, to put the, the pet as close to your druid. You need to insta dispel the silence shot. It's the only CC I think they can do on the druid. So that two, three globals on the druid is really, really key, okay, for surviving this go. Also, look here. Uh, the, the vipers are booked and there's aggro on the druid. So you really need to kill them because if they are applying a poison on your druid that is reducing the, the, the cast time like a lot. So it's really helpful if you can avoid that on your on your druid. Curse on on the on the summon, okay, to to peel. He's able to ground the, the instant. This is really 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 good. 
Three is forced to, to an ends. Now it's a good moment to get dot on everyone because they are in the middle and get some pressure. Okay, they, they need to back up. Um, we are able to put the the bloodlust, so it's time to go uh, offensive. I think uh, Priest is a good target, so we are going to him. Uh, they do a really good um, snake trap. Okay, the hole um, can affect um, a maximum, I think, uh, five, six entities. So, um, and, and it's targeting the closest to you. So, in the moment they put a snake trap and, and you are the one activating it, it's uh, easy to, to like, uh, avoid your hole. So, he did a really good play, putting the snake trap there. And they are going on the pets, as, as we commented, is their main win condition. And it's easy to kill them. But here we are able to get some space and and just resummon. Trying to dot everyone, get some pressure, avoid uh, the CC. I mean the, the casting of the of the summon. You really need uh, trying to CC him a lot. And look at the at the priest mana. It's really 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 low. He will he will need to to use pet soon. Uh, Hunter trinketed it in an offensive way. This is really good because they didn't trinket for for me to to stop because someone could uh, trinketed the clone and try to to stop my, my pet. But they they just trinketed to try to to boost the second pet down. So this is really good. They didn't use the trinket to stop the the casting, but just to try to to make pressure on him. So this is really good for us. This trinket from from Homer. Just try to dot everyone as we commented. To peel and this is, as we commented, uh, the problem with this setup that they can just trap. Okay, no RNG dispel. They will just fear after. But before the pet is killed, I'm able to dispel my summon. The fear it's really RNG dispel. We get a clone on the summon. So if we kill the Tremor, I'm able to hold the, the Hunter and maybe I'm able to port and summon. And we are able to boost down the, the, the priest really because uh, it's in the middle, it's 60%. So I think there's a lot of good options here. Okay, we hold on, on, on Homer, but it's half. Clone on the, on the priest. Okay, I think now they are going to start doing pressure on me. It's a good moment and we, have, we don't have any CC on them. And each on the air. It's good time to just port and fell them, I think. But look at the situation. Okay, they are gonna start doing a lot of pressure on me. Just uh, port, fell them, and put the pet behind because it's the fell them you really want to play really defensive that pet. Okay, okay. Okay. Now look at the situations. They have no tremor. Uh, we have Hex back. And Priest is still in the middle, as we commented, and it's low mana, low low life. Okay, uh, we are able to get the fear and the UA on the summon. This is really, really good. And if we can get a clone or hex on the on Homer, we will be 3 versus 1 versus a Priest that it's low life in the middle of the map. This is really good. As we commented, it's like one of our win conditions. Okay, we get the double CC, coil into bus, into CS, we, we are able to push them down. Okay, so the key points, uh, as we see in, in this game, is get some space from, from your port to, to be able to resummon. Uh, always try your RNG dispel, but it's really important to, to keep your dispel if you can for the silent shot on your druid when they are boosting down. And just play defensive, play the mana game, and really try your pets to survive. If they kill your both pets, uh, it's GG for you. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the key points. Hope it's helpful for you, and see you guys next time.